in the heart of Africa, a remarkable young leader, Ibrahim Traore, emerged on the political stage, bearing striking resemblances to the iconic Thomas Sankara. His ascension to power was a spectacle that had captured the world's attention, leaving everyone in awe of his potential. At a mere 35 years old, Traore assumed the mantle of leadership as Burkina Faso's youngest head of state, marking a significant milestone for his nation. His journey to this pinnacle began with a military coup in 2022, a momentous event that set the stage for his ascent. What sets Ibrahim Traore apart is his unwavering ambition and drive. It's evident that he possesses a burning desire to lead his country towards a brighter future. The sheer audacity of his vision is inspiring, and it's not just personal ambition that fuels him. He carries with him the dreams and aspirations of Burkina Faso as a whole. Traore's rise to power wasn't without its dramatic twists and turns. In a complex web of political maneuvering, he and a determined group of soldiers ousted Paul Henry de Mimba, his former comrade and the interim president. De Mimba had himself led a coup against a civilian government just eight months earlier. The common thread binding these upheavals was the government's failure to effectively combat the relentless armed insurgencies plaguing the nation. This is where the narrative takes an intricate turn. The intricacies of military coups and political power dynamics are not to be underestimated, especially when you are a part of the military establishment seeking to house a government. The stakes are high, and the consequences are often dire, as illustrated by the mention of the death penalty. Traore's personal history adds depth to his character. He hails from the town of Bunduku in western Burkina Faso and pursued studies in geology at the University of Ouagadougou before embarking on a military career in 2010. His remarkable journey led him to graduate as an officer from the prestigious judges Namuneo Military School in 2020. His rise to the rank of captain in the army was testament to his dedication and courage. Notably, Traore's experiences extended beyond the borders of his homeland. In 2018, he participated in the UN peacekeeping mission in neighboring Mali, where he proved his mettle on the front lines against militants in the northern regions. This background paints a vivid picture of a leader who has been tried and tested, emerging as a figure of strength in the face of adversity. Burkina Faso, a nation burdened by political instability and armed insurgencies since 2015, faced yet another challenge when French troops, stationed in the country since 2018, withdrew in February 2023. Their departure was prompted by claims that their presence failed to improve the nation's security situation. This left a considerable power vacuum and added complexity to Traore's leadership. But the most intriguing aspect of Ibrahim Traore's rise is the geopolitical shift he represents. At a time when Russia's influence in French-speaking African countries was on the rise, he boldly declared Russia as Burkina Faso's new partner in the fight against militant groups. This choice reflected a broader sentiment among West African junta leaders, who had grown increasingly anti-French in their outlook. In summary, Ibrahim Traore's journey to leadership is a tale of ambition, determination, and the evolving landscape of Burkina Faso's political and military leadership. His personal history, courage, and strategic choices have not only changed the trajectory of his nation but also set the stage for a geopolitical shift in the region. His story is one of a young leader's audacious quest to transform his nation and find new alliances in an ever-changing world. Deep in the heart of the Sahel, a region known for its stark beauty and a formidable history, a series of crises had been simmering. These crises paved the way for the formation of the G5 Sahel, a coalition of nations bound together by a common struggle. Among its members were Chad, Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali, who, despite their linguistic and cultural differences, had come to realize the necessity of facing their shared challenges together. The genesis of the G5 Sahel can be traced back to a troubling pattern. The region had become a fertile ground for political instability, where leadership changed hands as frequently as the shifting sands in the vast desert. A growing number of leaders had risen to power via military coups, raising doubts about the enduring stability they could provide. The question loomed large, would they deliver on their lofty promises? These military regimes had taken on a colossal responsibility, tasked with proving that they could lead their nations more effectively than the civilian governments they had ousted. The weight of expectations was immense, and the scrutiny unrelenting. Amidst this turbulence, a sense of unity emerged as Mali and Burkina Faso threw their unwavering support behind the new junta leadership in Nigeria. This alliance was a testament to their shared sense of adventure and determination, though their motives remained enigmatic. 
were they driven by self-interest, a profound sense of patriotism, or a reaction to the chronic failures of the political class? It was, fundamentally, a struggle for survival in the face of deep-rooted problems. At the helm of this new era was President Charles, a visionary who sought to usher in transformative change in Burkina Faso. He made a compelling plea to Russia, calling for support to tackle the country's pressing security and economic issues. This was a clear indication of his resolve and a glimmer of hope that these military leaders, while not democratically elected, might indeed lead their nations towards a brighter future. However, as these military takeovers swept through the former French colonies of West Africa, a palpable air of uncertainty lingered. Economic hardships and security challenges cast a long shadow over their journey. The Sahel stood at a critical juncture, and the young leaders who had risen to power faced a formidable challenge as they sought to navigate a complex landscape rife with obstacles. This narrative unravels the intricate tapestry of political upheaval, the aspirations of newfound leaders, and the persistent struggles faced by these nations. It's a story of hope and determination. Set against the ever-shifting backdrop of the Sahel's political arena, the road ahead was fraught with uncertainties, but it was also illuminated by the flicker of possibility and change.